Okay, guys, in this video, I'm going to give you an uh, instruction to how you should uh, consider uh, different uh, calculations. Uh, what's really important when you do the business case is that after you come up with some suggestions to what a company should uh, should do, you uh, you you make calculations uh, of the best estimate of what consequences this would have for the company. And uh, what I'm going to do now is going to try to uh, go through this uh, example and explain what is meant by it. So once you have decided which action proposals you will recommend to the company, must consider consequences will have for the company if you implement the actions alternatives. Since each action entails a number of consequences and some risks. Thus, there may be a number of consequences of a given solution proposal. For each of the chosen action alternative, you must find one to two consequences of this. As is discussed, the consequence of implementing the proposed action alternatives. Consequences can include influence the company's strategy, images, finances, competitive uh, situation, etc. Be specific and be concrete with regards to the financial consequences, which means that calculations must be made on relevant actions alternative, that is, impact calculations. If break even calculations, when will, a, for example, a company, when will a company a, have made enough money to pay off the suggested action? For example, if you suggest them that they want to create a new marketing campaign, how long time will it take for them to pay of that uh, campaign. Impact assessments are about getting a, hand a handle on the financial consequences of a strategic opportunity. A statement is prepared showing all income and exposures and thus the earnings that the proposal is expected to uh, result in both the short and long term. Sensitivity analyzes are calculations that must reveal how much a premise can be changed before it becomes decisive for a solution proposal. When performance sensitivity analyzes on the impact calculation, it is most appropriate to change one and only one assumption at a time. That can, for example, uh, change one assumption that could be change the time horizon if you plan on uh, buying a new product how long will you be able to use it will you be able to use it for two years three years or four years that can be something uh, in regards to uh, in regards to a company otherwise it will be difficult to conclude anything sensible about influence and sensitivity to the individual assumptions in this way, the company gains a good knowledge of the factors that may threaten the strategy, just as it gains a good knowledge on the factors to which the strategy is resistant. When you have to make financial impact calculation, you must, that is, do the following. Make assumptions for calculations based on information search and qualified guesses. This means you you made a research where you find for example prices of certain products if you pr wish to start producing a new product if you wish to do a marketing campaign how much would it cost to put this marketing campaign online etc set up calculation using good economic methods that is layout text intermediate calculation units that is must be correct and documented what is meant here is if you plan on uh, doing five uh, marketing campaigns, explain why you want to do five marketing campaigns, how much does these marketing campaigns cost each, and how well will these be uh, 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 put into place. Afterwards, evaluate the result. What does the result show and what can be, con be concluded on this basis? What is meant here is if you do these five marketing campaigns and you, for example, have invested a million kroner in these, after you have paid the marketing contribution and they made a break even on that, is it really worth it? You can, you can calculate, is it still worth it for the company? That means that you need to evaluate and discuss whether you should have done something that might have been cheaper and would maybe have been even more efficient or if you should have focused on this uh, still. In the you have learned to prepare calculations yourself, break even calculations, etc. In the business case, you must show that you can decide for yourself 
which calculations it will be relevant to prepare and how it should be done. Some of the calculations can be made zero point sales, zero point revenue included advertising, zero point, zero point uh, revenues. These three all uh, focuses on, uh, on the same area. Uh, it might, in many cases, for example, if you are very specific in terms of how many you should sell, it will be focused very much on zero point sales. If it's advertising, it's zero point uh, advertising. If it's a zero point revenue where you're not focused that much on how much to sell, you should rather focus on that. Product calculations of gross margin per unit and gross margin changes in accounting items, an income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement, changes in financial ratios, and both long term probably. Uh, preferably decided into. This means that if, for example, you have decided to meet uh, expectation and uh, and they invest a lot of money and you have made a break even and you uh, argue that you will make a break even within a year, how will this look to the, for example, as a turnover and the profit uh, market ratio and how will it look to return on investment? Again, this is estimates, uh, but it's, uh, it's not it's not things that you guess, it's things that you find relevant and then you argue why you think this will be relevant. Four main areas, profitability, earning capacity, capital uh, and solvency, change in inventory and inventory cost. If we have an example here, in the example of declining market share, consequence of a proposed uh, propos uh, promotional campaign, change in the company's branding image, rise in cost, campaign is expensive, and demands for new cap uh, capacity cost. The consequence must be readable in a clear way and a synopsis in connection with each action alternative. Proportional campaign of DTT 25 uh, to uh, 250,000 assumes that the uh, contribution market the piece is DKT. This is why advertising zero point uh, zero point is twenty five pieces. You have to you have to uh, have to sell twenty five thousand pieces in order to break even after the advertisement campaign. The proportional uh, promotional campaign is therefore only profitable if sales are increased by twenty five thousand. It is then your job to assess whether this is realistic. And I'm not going to give you the specific uh, specific answer to that, but that's your job.